the Danakil Depression is found in the northeast of Ethiopia. The closest town, Berahil, is 80 kilometers away. We traveled from the highlands to Berahil. The greatest attraction of Berahil is its colorful market. We spent some time there. Local products are sold, some in traditional containers. Many people still wear ethnic clothing and jewelry. The Afar people of the region are mostly Muslim. After Berahil, one descends 1,500 meters to the depression, which is below sea level. There is no modern accommodation in the Danakil depression. A few settlements offer basic facilities, which are not for the queasy. The Million Star Hotel in the Hamadela camp's name makes up for what it lacks in facilities. The bathroom is breezy. The bedroom is fitted with natural aircon. All this is bearable for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Locals live a harsh life, probably one of the toughest on earth. The neighbors of the Million Star Hotel are friendly and self-sufficient, providing their own fresh goat's milk. The Danakil Depression is the source of virtually all salt sold in Ethiopia. About 750 official registered miners track two hours daily to be at the mines early enough to extract as much as possible before the sun becomes unbearable. Plates are cut from the salt cap, which stretches up to a depth of 800 meters in the Earth's crust. Plates are chipped into smaller sizes with axes. Each person cuts on average 200 tiles a day, each weighing up to 4 kilograms. One camel can carry up to 250 kilograms. Approximately 2,000 camels and 1,000 donkeys carry the salt to Berahi, a journey that lasts three days. The salt mines are located in Lake Afar, which forms part of the depression. It stretches some 200 by 50 kilometers. Watching the sun set over the lake is a romantic start to a visit to this region. This takes place under armed escort as there are insurgents from Eritrea which is close by. Conveyor belts transport salt to an Israeli phosphate factory nearby. It is a magical place and a photographer's paradise. Huge salt flakes cover the surface in certain areas. Time for family photos in a unique setting. As the sun sets, a sundowner consisting of Ethiopian wine is served, ending in some dancing and the first day of our visit to the Danakil. The next day we went to the hot pools and sulphur springs. The depression is a cocktail of salt flats, volcanoes, sulphur fields and pools, and red rocks like these. Millions of years ago, the Red Sea covered the land. The depression lies at the triple junction of three tectonic plates. It developed as a result of rifting, volcanic activity, erosion, and inundation by the sea. Some areas are 225 meters below sea level. We made a stop at the hot springs. Here water bubbles up in pools in which one can swim if so inclined. Or take a bottle of water with healing properties. Different layers of salt make beautiful forms which trigger the imagination seeing mushrooms or crocodiles or fantasy creatures of all sorts. Continuing to the sulphur pools, we stopped to look more closely at the salt crystals. Ferrosulfate colors the salt red in some areas, while beautiful geometric patterns are also formed by the salt.
we made another stop at the Sulphur Mountains. We were amazed and delighted with the huge formations of solid salt. These looked like ice cream cones to us. In some places are grottos, which can be dangerous as some have already caved in. Beautiful crystals, spikes and ferrous sulphate layers adorn some ridges. The Danakil is one of the oldest geological features and hottest places on Earth in terms of year-round average temperatures, which can reach to over 50 degrees Celsius. We saw the sad victim of the climate. When we visited, it was a mild 40 degrees. Here we are 116 meters below sea level. In order to get to the sulfur pools, one climbs a low salt hill. A spectacular sight awaited us at the other side. Some say it is the most colourful place on earth. Sulphur fumes obliterate the horizon. Old sulphur sediments become grey and geysers can reach up to a height of more than two metres. Huge and colourful salt flakes are scattered around. Sulphur geysers can make fantastic forms. This one we call the rider. One is surrounded by the gurgling and popping sounds of sulphur bubbling up. Beautiful crystals abound and delight the eye. The red color is caused by iron particles in the salt. Many microorganisms living here are extremophilic microbes of interest to astrobiologists. Nonetheless, in October 2019, scientists reported that terrestrial life forms which live in outer space were not found to exist in the very hot, acidic and salty conditions here. Not far from here in the Danakil, the famous fossil Lucy and many other fossils were found. Lucy was dated 3.2 million years old. One can spend hours here and enjoy the beautiful colors and amazing forms created by the minerals at extreme temperatures. Truly the Danakil Depression is one of the most fascinating places on Earth. It was a unique experience we'll never forget.